So I have a question for you. What is too much fat on a ketogenic diet? This comes up over and over and over again, like how much fat do I need to consume? In their mind, 75% um, of your calories need to be fat is a tremendous amount of fat, and they're a little bit freaked out because they don't want to die of a heart attack or a clogged artery. So let's just kind of cover that. So we need to create a balance of just the right amount of fat versus too much fat, okay? If you have hypoglycemia, if you have low blood sugars, uh, you're gonna need more fat because your, your main problem is you can't go from one meal to the next without being very hungry. So if there's a blood sugar issue, it's gonna take more fat because we want to add enough fat to go from one meal to the next. If you're eating too much fat, what's gonna happen, it's gonna overload the liver and gallbladder and the pancreas because, see the gallbladder breaks down the fat into a small, these small particles, but the pancreas releases an enzyme called lipase, which takes it from that small particle down into the smallest particle. So if you have a blood sugar issue and your pancreas is exhausted or you're a diabetic, you're not gonna be able to produce as many enzymes, thereby stressing the body. So when you have too much fat, you're gonna feel more bloated, nauseous, you're gonna have more uh, right uh, full sensation on, over the gallbladder on the right side through here. It's gonna stem up to the right shoulder blade through here, through the neck, headache, maybe the eye. It might even create tension in your upper neck where it causes pain on the right arm. I've seen that as well. So in the beginning, you're gonna need a little bit more fat because you haven't fully adapted. The switch between sugar burning and fat burning isn't clean enough. Now, when you do this over a long period of time, you're gonna switch very easily to fat burning, sugar burning, back and forth. So the need for fat is gonna be less and less. But here's the thing, if you have too much fat, the fat that you're burning, that's coming out through ketones in your urine, could be the dietary fat, not necessarily your own fat. So even though you're in ketosis, you're not losing weight because you're burning mostly the dietary fat and not your own fat. But if you keep doing it and you keep adjusting the fat to the sweet spot where you can go from one meal to the next comfortably and not overdo it with the fats, you'll start tapping into the fat on your body and this dietary fat won't be an issue, it won't interfere with your ability to really get into a full ketosis where you're burning off your fat. And one last mistake that a lot of people make when, they're, when they start ketosis is they, they don't do intermittent fasting. They will have this idea they can have unlimited fat, so they make these little cookies out of the fat, they're called keto bombs, and they're just pigging out on these things in between the meals, at the meals, at night, and they're wondering, it's not working, I'm not losing weight. So that's just because they're, the fat they're burning is the dietary fat, not their own fat. So you wanna combine intermittent fasting with the ketosis, not go crazy with the fats, but have enough to get you from one meal to the next. And if you have blood sugars, you're gonna need a little bit more, but as you do this, over time, it'll be easier, and you can cut down on some of the fats, and you'll feel comfortable, and you won't be hungry, and you'll lose weight. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.